Okay, now that we've got two sets of armor that has god armor, let's head back home. And the fact that I got two armors that have god armor, I think is good enough. <laughs> we are going to go into our installations folder and going to put in a new installation. Now, we're not going to go straight into 1.19.2. Actually, what we're going to do is go to a snapshot for 1.17. Snapshot 21W03A. And we're going to call this Netherwater. Okay, now that we're in 1.17 or snapshot 21W03A, let's open up the God Armor world. Now, it's going to give you this warning. The reason being is that we are upgrading to the next stage. So, what you'll want to do is create a backup and load. That way, if something does go wrong, you can revert back and try it again. Now, we are in 1.17 or I guess snapshot 21W03A, but we'll just call it 1.17. And I can't zoom in, so this is really strange to do. Now you might be wondering, is the enchantment still there? And indeed it does. It has survived the jump from 1.14 to 1.17. However, we can no longer make any more of this. But that's not the reason why we're here. The reason why we're here is because we're going to create water in the nether. So first things first, I went out into an unexplored, unrendered chunk because I needed 1.17 world generation to kick in. In 1.17, glow lichen was just introduced. And so I needed a bit of that in order to convert lava into water on the nether roof. Unfortunately though, when I did find low lichen, I didn't have clippers, so I had to go back up and build myself a gigantic pillar in order to find the spot where there was glow lichen. Alright, now that we build that pillar, indicating where the glow lichen is, we're gonna go ahead back to our base because I completely forgot to get one key thing, and that was getting myself a pair of clippers. And so I gotta go back, get some iron, get the clippers, and go grab that glow lichen. Then we're gonna head back to our base, grow a bit of glow lichen, and make some nether water. So let's go back and grab some more. Hi, Peggy. There's the gigantic pillar up there. So let's go grab our glow lichen and head back home. And this is what we're gonna need in order to get nether water. Now that we're back, we're gonna grow some glow lichen using bone meal. I don't know if I have any bone meal, so we're gonna have to just create a couple as much as <laughs> as much as we can, really. We grab all the stuff that we can compost and just start composting. Huh? I can't compost cacti. That's uh, huh? I didn't actually think that was possible. Okay, we have 41 bone meal, which should be enough to make a bunch of glow lichen. So let's uh go to a spot and uh, start growing this. Okay, with that, we have a little over half a stack of glow lichen. And so the unique thing about 21W03A, or the 1.17 snapshot, is that in the nether, glow lichen can actually produce water. So I'm going to head over to the nether roof and place the water in 00. zero. That way, it's easy for us to keep track and load it over. Yeah, we'll also bring the other set of god armor with us. Originally, the plan was I was going to bring over this entire place and plonk it into the overworld in the technical guide world. But I thought about it, and because we're doing nether water, we could actually move all of this into the nether. Or rather, all of our god armor stuff. So whatever we have in our inventory, we're going to put down an X and Z zero zero on the nether roof. And then from there, we're going to splice over that one spot over to the technical guide world from the nether. That way, we have minimal impact on the server itself. Uh, the final sleep of this world. I'm, I'm excited. Quick interruption. I know that only 10% of you actually subscribe to this channel. Watching this long, I must be doing something right. So if you like this video, hit that like button and please subscribe to this channel. Any support helps and these videos take a bit long to make. Thank you so much and back to the video. Okay, now that we're at zero, zero. Oh, one second. I need to go get some lava. Okay, so let's grab our cobblestone and make a small like area for it to let's say a three by three area and in the middle we'll place down our lava bucket grab a glow lichen on the lava source block there now we have one water in the nether we'll do that on this side place down a glow lichen and boom another water and that's how you get water in the nether <laughs> it's really bizarre i haven't seen this since oh man i think like 1.7 beta so it's really cool to see water in the nether again and without having to use the sidecraft method of using sand stuff in order to get the game to spawn it in but no we use snapshot logic and that's how we're gonna get a bunch of nether water so we're just gonna keep doing this over and over again i'm halfway tempted to go back and get more lava just so we can make more water and we're gonna put it in sort of this x formation that way we can make infinite water sources instead 
Now, as to what this could be used for, I don't know. But the fact that we have infinite water sources is great in of it itself. You know what? I thought of, like it would have been better for me to put this in like a bigger X formation. You know, what? I'm going to go back and go grab some more lava in order to do this. Oh, mobs started spawning up here, which I guess makes a little bit of sense. Uh, instead of the way we were doing before, we're going to make a larger X formation. And then I think it'll just close in on itself. Oh, ow, ow. Wow, I almost died. Okay, then from here, all we gotta do is just knock this down and this whole thing becomes one gigantic pool of water. And that's how you get water into the nether, otherwise known as nether water. Now, before we go into 1.19.2, we're gonna make one more pit stop at 1.18, or specifically snapshot 2243 alpha. So, let's go. And welcome to Snapshot 21W43 Alpha, also known as the Snapshot to 1.18. Now, why exactly are we here? Let me show you. So if you go out of the area that we were just in, you'll find that this version of the Snapshot, a bedrockless nether roof, thus will make it very easy for us to use this in the future. So we're going to dig down and find ourselves a nether fortress. Okay, now that we're on ground level, let's go look around. Alright, we've been looking for about 30 minutes, and we finally found ourselves a nether fortress. So let's go into this nether fortress, and just start looking around. That way we can load in this entire area. Oh, ow! Ow! Not cool. So we're gonna walk around this area, just to make sure that this entire uh, nether fortress is loaded in. Now, ideally, this would have been a soul sand valley, but sometimes you just get what you pull. I think we've successfully scouted this entire area. So now it's time to go back to the 19.2 world. And then I'll teach you how to splice this into the world itself. So where you want to go is go to github.com slash quers slash MCA selector. From there, you want to download the latest version of the MCA selector and install it. From there, you want to open up MCA selector and then open up your world file. Now, I would advise you to back up the world. And in this case, we have backed it up to world splice. So first things first, we're going to go into the nether where we place everything for us and locate the god armor, which is going to be right over here. Then we're going to copy it by going over to selection and then press copy chunks. Then from here, we're going to open up the Arsene world and then we're going to locate zero zero just like before. So let's go find that real quick. Then we're going to paste it in. Then we can move this to where we want to. In this case, we want this in the zero zero place and then paste it in so now the god armor is right in between gas farm and the hoglin farm then we're going to open up the world splice one more time and then locate the nether fortress that we found by using the bounding box coordinates we could find out that the four corners of the area that we want to splice in is these four so we're going to take our corners and then plug them into this coordinates tool this coordinates tool will take our coordinates and change them over to chunk selection as well as region file and by doing this we could find out exactly where we're going to be highlighting lighting in the MCA selector. Now that we got our four corners, we're going to select this entire area down here. And just like before, we're going to copy and paste this into the technical guide world. So copy, then we're going to open up technical guide world and then paste it where it needs to be. Now, the good thing about MCA selector is that we could paste it anywhere we want it to be. Now, for the sake of keeping it away from everything that we've done already, we're going to move it down a little bit into an area that hasn't been processed or built onto yet. So in this case, we're going to move it right over here and then paste it in. And with that, we have our entire selection inside the technical guide world. So let's go test it out. Oh man, it's so good to be back. I haven't played on this world for, I think, almost a month just working on the project. But we're finally here and now we're going to go check out to see if our splice chunks actually work. Oh, I'm so excited to finally see the product of our endeavors. So that's where our gold farm is. So theoretically, our nether water should be right here. It is! Oh! Oh boy! Nether water. And just to double check if our stuff is there. Ah oh, yes, the god armor is safely inside the 1.19.2 world along with the nether water i'm so happy about that now for the big one if our nether fortress has been spliced in properly now we should immediately see like a wall of basalt deltas if we've done this right oh there it is oh we've done it we have successfully spliced in the bedrockless area oh that is gas i'm gonna walk away from that before it hits me but yeah we did it we've managed to make ourselves a bedrockless roof and another roof using game mechanics a little bit of patience and snapshot this is going to be a prime place to make a wither skull farm but before we can do that we need to be able to build here without any fear of gas and so next course of action after taking an entire month off on the server we're going to be making a mob switch <laughs> 